good, fluid hands. And now he... Oh, straight shot. That oh. is. I love that combination. Two. Beautiful combination. Knocked down. Joshua, big left hand. That stung Ruiz. And then Ruiz right back to Joshua. And Joshua in trouble. Hello, guys. What is up? Prediction time. Now, after carefully analyzing and watching all the fights between Andy Ruiz and Gerald Miller... Miller? I predict that Andy Ruiz probably wins this fight by decision, and if it turns into a slugfest, definitely by KO or TKO. Now, we saw Jarrell Miller. He's done good against his opponents, and we've seen him, though, against uh, Daniel Dubois. They had a very good fight. They had some couple of slugfests, and Dubois eventually stopped him in the 12th round. And at the end of the 12th round, it was a close fight, no, but uh, Dubois was winning. So Miller is a good, he's a good fighter, I wouldn't say a top heavyweight, but he's a good fighter. He'll, uh, he could last with Andy Ruiz if he plays it uh, smart till the end, and it could, could be a close decision. But if it goes into a slugfest, Andy Ruiz, that's his, that's the way he wins. Andy Ruiz usually does better in slugfests. Anthony Joshua, you could see what he did with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a very technical fighter. I would say more technical than Andy Ruiz. And, you know, it's when you study him, you could see that. And Anthony Joshua first match versus Andy Ruiz played smart a bit, then started, thought that he could KO a Ruiz through a slugfest. And he did knock him down. But Andy Ruiz is... But Andy Ruiz does better in that type of game. He's first shorter, so it works more for him. His punches score at a shorter range. So I predict that Andy Ruiz probably wins by decision or KO TKO if it's a, if it's a slugfest where they're both punching each other and closing the distance. Now for Jared Anderson versus Martin Bacoli. Now Jared Anderson is a more technical fighter. This is uh, after watching both their fights, but all, all their fights actually. Their knockouts, their decisions. After watching everything and analyzing them, I see that Jared Anderson is a very technical fighter. Martin Bacoli is technical and he has good skills. But let me tell you something. Jared Anderson does not look motivated. And he said it himself that he's not uh, interested in watching boxing. He doesn't like, he doesn't care about boxing. He's doing it for the money. Whereas Martin Bacoli is a hungry beast that wants to be champion. Now, this fight could be close. If Martin Bacoli is hungry enough, he could match up with Jared Anderson's skill and actually maybe even win the fight if Jared Anderson does not show any hunger to win. There's a lot of, hung oh, there's a lot of hungry, durable fighters that have beaten more technical fighters when they weren't focused. And you know that in training. You see that in training and you see that even in, prof in professional fights. There's some people who are more technical and they lose a fight because they didn't play f to their smarts. For example, Joshua Ruiz, which you just talked about, first fight. Joshua played to Andy's advantage, which is close range combat, slugfest style. A strong, confident Bakoli can cause destruction and win the fight. But I predict Jared Anderson wins by decision. Possible TKO, but probably, no, probably by decision with how strong Bakoli is, especially if he comes in well. Take care, everyone. Now watch my prediction above to see who wins between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov. This will be a good fight. Take care everyone. Bye.